It's the Muppet Vision 3D, which was actually the last Muppet project Jim Henson directed before his death. So if any one of you corporate bastards even thinks of updating this for a new generation, I will not be held responsible for my actions. The film was written by Big Bang Theory co-creator Bill Prady, and the story is... not the point. The point is that we have all of our favorite Muppet characters doing classic Muppet gags in 3D! We get to sit in a replica of the Muppet Show Theater. We get an animatronic Statler and Waldorf. The Swedish chef is running the projector, just like in the Muppet movie. Sweetums runs around in the theater. And then there's Waldo. Your mileage may vary on Waldo. Some people find him incredibly annoying, but me, he just makes me sad. Waldo was Jim Henson's experiment with real-time 3D CGI puppetry, and seeing him just reminds me of how many of Henson's ambitious projects and innovations were never fully realized. I would give anything to see what Henson could create with modern special effect technology, and unfortunately that will never come to pass. You know guys, when we do a two minute piece with Waldo, it takes the computer 120 hours to create the final picture. Still, overall the film is fun, funny, and filled with that undeniable Muppet spirit that went missing for so long until Jason Siegel descended from on high to bring it back. I also have to mention the gift shop, which, despite a disturbing amount of non-Muppet stuff, is full of all sorts of great hidden and inside jokes. Parts of the store are themed after classic Muppet movie sets like the Happiness Hotel from The Great Muppet Caper. The decorations are packed with gags, it's basically everything a Muppet themed area should be. Well, except for one detail, it's way too small. Originally, Disney MGM Studios was going to have an entire Muppet land, including a dark ride, but all that came out of it was the 3D show and a costume live show that I've only seen on YouTube, but it wasn't that great. All the other plans fell apart after Henson's death. Okay, you know what? I was sad enough that the world doesn't have Jim Henson before hearing about all this. I don't need even more reasons to know that his loss was history's greatest tragedy. But Henson had said that he wanted the world of the Muppets to go on after he was gone. I realize the original plans fell through, but you own the Muppets now, Disney, and you have acres and acres of undeveloped land. Screw just one section, give the Muppets their own entire park. They're here. Ah, oh, forget it, I'm just gonna cheer myself up by focusing on all the fun details again. Hey, wait, shouldn't the nursery set be for Muppets Take Manhattan? This guy's nitpicking makes us look tame. And his impressions of our voices make us sound lame. <laughs> <laughs>